Alright everyone, I am back. This is Game Guy 1984 here, and this time we're going to continue on continue on with our playthrough of Su Super Mario World. Sorry about that. And let's begin! So we're at the Forest Evolution 1, and this is our new enemy here, Wiggler. Wiggler, he's a very long legged caterpillar thing. He gets really pissed when you jump on him for whatever reason. I mean, it's just jumping on you, seriously, you don't need to cry over it. But anyway, I'm going to talk about a couple of issues that have been bugging me. The first issue is that I've been uploading videos lately and um it appears that most of the videos, the videos I've uploaded were were just filled with like third party content, you know. And I'm getting kinda worried because with that I might actually have what you call now a bad standing with my account. And I don't want that to happen because I'm just uploading games that I love to play, games that I played when I was a child. I mean, what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with uploading video games, uploading videos of games that you played as a child. I grew up with these, you know? This is what made my, made my childhood very good. If I were to play the Sega, I probably would Although there are good games of Sega, like the Sonic series, they were very good. But that's all I can think of that's good. Other than that, I don't know. Speaking of which, um, I think the Sega Genesis is a bit more explicit than the, than the Super Nintendo because if I remember in certain games like Mortal Kombat 1, the blood was not present. It was only like replaced with kind of like sweat and whatnot. Well, there was blood inside the Sega Genesis, but you needed a code of some sort. I kind of forgot what the code was. But anyway, back to the game. We here, we have here a feather. I will get the star again. And I can get more light this way, which is pretty cool. Because they're dying, just like how I predicted. They're dying, die, 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 die. Die, 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 and die. You see, sadly we got Ditchy Yoshi because you cannot ride with people, you know? You just cannot. No matter how hard you want to, you cannot. That's sad, but in a sense, at least I can get the secret ace here. But yeah, um, I'm kind of afraid that if I keep getting these matched third party contents, I'm going to get a bad standing. But I like to continue uploading because, you know, I will acknowledge that it's from Nintendo. Of course it's Nintendo, you know. Why wouldn't it be Nintendo? If it was Nintendo, then, you know. Why is it now? Yeah, if it wasn't Nintendo, then, I don't know. I guess they're protecting their investments, you know. Um, and whatnot, but they have to realize that if it wasn't for us people, actually play these games in the first place as a child, if it wasn't for people like us who actually made the 16-bit era good, a reason to, you know, play video games, they wouldn't be making all the money. I mean, sure they have, like, the knowledge and how to make a great video game, but what good is that knowledge if no one will play it, you know? Like, say, if I didn't want to play the uh, Super Nintendo, if I didn't want to play any of the games, if I thought that Mario sucks, if I thought that Nintendo sucks, you know, they and you know, uh, and if a lot of other people would you would agree with that, then you think Nintendo would make money? Heck no. As a matter of fact, if I was a critic and I critiqued the Nintendo, like the Super Mario World, it sucks, it's bad, and and if I was a very well known critic. Do you think people would like to buy Super Mario? No, they wouldn't. But I'm not bashing that Super Mario is a bad game. It's not. I'm just saying that, you know, I'm making videos of myself playing, playing video games on YouTube, and yet they want to strike me with this copyright thing. Well, I'm not really striked yet, or my videos have been deleted. It's just that I'm kind of scared that if, if 
I get a bad tag on my account, then there's a good chance that my YouTube would be deleted, which I do not want and I got hit by that stupid fish. I mean, nobody wants their videos to get deleted. I mean, you know, you don't want a bad experience on YouTube, would you? Now, would you? Not me. I really don't want a bad experience on YouTube. I, would, I don't want to tell my friends, oh, don't make a YouTube account because they delete my videos all because I was playing video games that I loved as a child. YouTube is such shit, you know? And... Anyways, I don't want to rant and complain like a little baby. Yeah. But yeah, at the same time, I do not want a bad standing on my account, so I'll just leave it at that. Oh shit, that was a close call. Oh freaking heck. Monk it up. So let's see here. Here we go. Chipmunk time. And that's the key right there. It leads us to the, of course, blue switch pass. We're going to get the coins here. We're going to get the coins here. Because we can get the coins. It makes me rich. I can buy myself a ton of pudding and a ton of fries with that as well. And if I buy a ton of fries, a ton of pudding, I might get bloated, I might get fat, I might become ugly, but I'm not gonna make fun of ugly people because they will kick my ass for making fun of me because they're sensitive. Did you know that ugly people are sensitive? I bet you didn't know. Well, now you know. Yes, you do. Now you know. Now you know. And we are going to return to a place. A place that some call home. I put some called hell, a place that, you know, people will never ever expect. We are going back to Vanilla Secret 1. And here we are, here we are at Vanilla Secret 1. We can now get the secret agent here. We could have gotten the secret agent by flying, but then again, that would be wrong because we'd be breaking things. We don't want to break things, because if we break things, then we'd be criminals. Criminals that are probably locked up in prison for whatever reason. Did you know that criminals are locked up in prison for our safety? You didn't know? Well, now you do know. Now you do know indeed. And that is the secret exit right there. A very quick one at that. So, um, that pretty much is the end of world 3 for real so we're going back to world 5 and here we are at world 5 the force of illusion 3 yes this is still the force of illusion 3 because it is the force of illusion 3 why wouldn't it be the force of illusion 3 this leads to a bonus room of that you know hit the correct sequence and get alive because I wouldn't think it's worth it. It's kind of slow and whatnot. And yeah, there is a glitch you can do here to get a one up. Yes, there is a glitch. I will not show it to you now because I did not want to risk my um, life and well being in winning this or losing or whatever, you know. I just don't want to end up losing a life. Like how I did foolishly back at. Um, Vanilla Dome 3. 
How can I forget such a travesty? Yes, it's a travesty that I lost a life. But what can you do about it, you know? What can you do? And that is Forest of Illusion 3. Now we're going to the Forest of Illusion 4. Going up for the Forest Ghost House, but first we're going to go here to get the secret exit. And to get the secret exit, we have to go to the very end of this freaking level. How do you like going to the end of this level? Do you like going to the end quickly, slowly, painfully? I mean, I like to go through the level very painfully. Well, not to that painfully. I'm just saying, going through the level painfully sucks. I probably wouldn't be rewarded with extra lives or whatnot. I'd probably be laughed at if I went through things painfully and solidly, I suppose. Forget you, you stupid, freaking, dumb Goombas. Yes, and in addition, we have to be at least big Mario, Mario status. That means Super Mario, Fire Mario, Cape Mario. Small Mario will not do, because we have to break these blocks with a spin jump. That was the Force of Illusion 3 Secret Exit. And now, in this video, let's see if we can get to the forest ghost house. Complete that. Yes, we will complete that. Yes, we will. This is the forest ghost house here. See? We're in a ghost house. And that is a big boo right there. That is the big boo right there. Yeah. We're not going to react though, that's why I say we're not going to react. We are going to finish this. And I can't believe I ran into the like an idiot. Can I get my mushroom please? Thank you. Thank you very much. I love mushrooms. Mushrooms are very fun. But they can also be poisonous and deadly sometimes. It's true. Sadly to say people have died eating mushrooms. Oh, uh, well, actually, yeah, they do die by eating mushrooms. However, the condition was they had to drink up to the head, actually, alcohol, which was not good at all. Alcohol, not something you want to mix with a mushroom, for whatever reason. I do not know what the reason is, but I know that mixing alcohol with mushrooms is a bad, a big no no, and a faithful one at that. And this is the end of the level. We are going to finish it. 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 Let's not forget this. Let's not forget this. And we are in the door. And we're done. That's it. That's the end of this area here. We are done with the forest ghost house. We are done. We are done. We are done, we are done. So that is it for me. I am GameGuy1984 here, and I am signing out. Oh what? There's a secret exit here? Nah! Why would there be a secret exit here? It'd be pretty stupid. I mean, where would the secret exit make us go? Anyways, if there was one back here. Yeah, right.